Hello, my name is Joe Lewis and I'm a software engineer with the CAOps MVS product team. In this video, I'll be discussing deliverables associated with the Ops MVS 12.3 System State Manager Simplification Project. This presentation will provide an overview of the SSM simplification enhancements along with the required prerequisites. We will also cover how to activate and operate the new SSM simplification features. System State Manager, or SSM, automates and controls the management of system resources such as started tasks, subsystem, JES initiators, and VTAM nodes. The business need for simplifying the operations of SSM is to allow the customer to manage these resources without having to understand how StateMan works and remove the need for sample and user-written Rex code to provide basic functionality to manage these resources. Highlights of the SSM simplification solution include improved automated resource discovery. First time users of SSM can run a discovery utility to automatically detect and populate resource policy information for a quicker implementation. The policy data can also be populated from an existing SSM environment for customers interested in converting to the policy-based implementation. Policy-based resource management allows resources to be monitored based on the customer's unique resource policies that fit their company's environment. New ISPF panels allow users to easily manage resource definitions without having to understand how SSM works. Rules, actions, and resource data are all managed in a single location. Transient states are managed by the SSM engine. No user written recs or rules are required. Resource definition errors can be flagged before they are implemented. Groups of resources can be started and stopped via a single command. Time limits can be defined for how long a resource takes to start or stop before being flagged for notification. And restart limits can be defined for the number of times a failed resource can be automatically restarted before being flagged for notification. This functionality is provided to the incremental release by the three PTFs listed on the slide, or you can install the 12.3 complete release. This feature is activated by setting the SSM version parameter to three. The default value for this parameter is two, and it can be changed at any time. The discovery utilities are available through OpsView 4.11.p.d and to manage the resource policy data, you can use OpsView option 4.11.p.r. For more information on this topic and the CA Ops MVS product, please visit docops.ca.com and support.ca.com. In this video, we introduced the SSM simplification deliverables, discussed the prerequisites for implementation, and how to activate the feature. We also demonstrated operational aspects of the feature. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about Ops MVS, connect with other users, and share your own expertise, visit the event management and automation community at the URL shown. This concludes training on the CA Ops MVS 12.3 System State Manager Simplification Deliverables.